All right, guys, it's time for another edition of Tanks Cooks. And today, we're doing something special. We are making hamburgers from scratch. Burgers 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 from scratch. Scratch, scratch, burgers from scratch. Here's about, uh, you gotta think about a third pound of uh, meat here, ground beef. And you don't just roll up a, the meat and just throw it on the grill. You need the, you need the, the ways to keep it together and to keep it juicy. Burgers from scratch, burgers from scratch, scratch, scratch. Burgers from scratch. So we'll take an egg. This will keep things together. Help emulsify things. We'll take a little bit of breadcrumbs. This will help keep it juicy. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. And of course, our famed spices, accent. La 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 la. Some lemon pepper, lemon pepper. And of course, some garlic. Because we're making, what are we making? Burgers from scratch. And you just stomp and mix this all together. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. Scratch, scratch. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. Burgers from scratch. Scratch, scratch. Okay, let me wipe down my hand. La da da da. Mm. Rum bum bum bum. We're gonna put this in the four minute grill that you see here. Four men grill. These are making burgers from scratch. It's been a long time since I've tried to do this. <laughs> burgers from scratch. Let's see if we could divide these into two. Ugh. La 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 la. Let me put a little more beef on this one. Dee dee dee. Burgers from scratch. Not exactly, don't have a hamburger press though. So we're gonna do just the best we can. Burgers from scratch. And we get these up on the forming grill. And I'll check in periodically how it's cooking. Burger some scratch. Burger some scratch. Gotta clean my hands again. Burger some scratch. Burger some scratch. Let's put the lid down. And we'll check in on it on about two or three minutes when we start hearing it sizzling. Okay, I can hear the hamburger sizzling here. Let's see how they're doing. All right, they're falling apart a little bit. It's not a good sign. The egg was supposed to prevent that. All right, oh, Jesus. Well, at least it's cooking on both sides with the forming grill. We'll just salt them up a little bit. And wake them up a little bit. Yeah. 
We didn't stay together as good as I would hope. Meantime, we can start getting our roll ready. We'll get our Sprite ready too. Now I'm going to put this on a Kaiser bowl instead of a traditional hamburger roll. I like putting them. I like having hamburgers on a Kaiser roll. I don't know why that. It's always tasted good on a Kaiser roll. Take out some of the excess padding. And I'll be back in a second for a surprise ingredient. Looking at how these burgers are cooking, I think this one's gonna need some cheese. Cheese. So we're gonna put some cheddar cheese on these burgers as they cook in the foreman. I like using this brand, the Sargento cheese. We'll put one slab of cheese on this burger. Hopefully it will melt on its own without the top being lower because the top always seems to ruination it. And a second layer of cheese. My fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Ding 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 fries are done. I've heard that song someplace before. Let me pause this and I'll get the fries out of the air fryer. Okay, we can take off, turn off the forming grill. And get ready to put the hamburgers and serve them up. Yes, you know, it's time to plate the meal. In the meantime, we'll sort these fries up. Yes, it's time to plate the meal. <laughs> there, the cheese holds it together really nice. Time to plate the meal. This is the time that you actually use the cheese. Make some cheeseburgers. And here we go. Here's the finished product. Very nice. Let's see how it came out. Hmm. Very eggy. I think that egg might have been a little too much. Maybe I should have at least tried to find a way to put half an egg since usually one egg is for a pound. And I had like uh, maybe a third of a pound or maybe a close to uh, uh, four tenths of a pound at the most. But that's a hamburger from scratch.